Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about future value. So before we jump into it, there's a few definitions we need to go through. So first off, an annuity is a series of equal regular payments. Now, depending on if we're talking about future value or present value, these could either be payments that you are just paying into, say, a savings account, or it could be payments to pay off a loan. But the important thing is the series of equal regular payments. So an ordinary annuity is where the payments are made at the end. So payments made at the end. Now that's just the end of the period, so whenever your payments are due. So if your payments are due monthly, it would be at the end of the month. If they were due yearly, it would be at the end of the year. And that will be given in each problem. Annuity due is the opposite. The payments are made at the beginning. Now, for this class and for future value uh, and present value that we'll learn later, we're just going to be looking at ordinary annuities. So for this, the payments are always going to be made at the end of the period. All right, so future value. Future value is the accumulated value at a future date. All right, now here's the important part of that. What this actually means is we're going to be starting with no money. We're going to be putting money into some kind of account or making investments. We're going to earn interest off of those payments. And then at the end, that's our future value. All right, good news is we're actually going to be using the calculator to do most of the hard work for us. All right, for the calculator, we are going to need some things though. All right, so you're going to see these five things in the calculator. These are the ones that we're going to be messing with for present and future value. So first off, this big N is the number of compoundings multiplied by the time. All right, so for example, if we had four compoundings per year, and we want to know over, say, five years, then we would just do four times five is 20. That would be our n. All right, for i percent, that is the rate as a percentage divided by the number of compoundings. So the rate as a percentage means, contrary to pretty much everywhere else in math, we don't want to move the percentage to a decimal this time. We actually just want to keep it like it is, just drop the percentage sign. Present value, whenever we're talking about future value, is always going to be zero. All right, because we're always starting with zero dollars for these problems. The payment is going to be negative, which by the way, PMT just means the payment. So how much are you putting in every time? Now it always has to be negative. So if you are putting a thousand dollars into an account, then you would put that in your calculator as negative one thousand dollars because that's money that's leaving you. So you want to put it in as negative. And then the future value 
is the amount that is going to be in the account at the end. All right, so let's take a look at this first example. So suppose Mary decides to deposit $100 every six months into an account that pays 6% compounded semi-annually. If she makes six deposits, one at the end of each interest payment period over three years, how much money will be in the account after the last deposit is made? All right, so we just need to go through those five different values and get them before we actually put it into a calculator. So starting off with that big N. So remember, big N is the number of compoundings, and in this case, it's per year. So we know that this is happening every six months. So every six me months means it's gonna happen twice a year. So it's compounded twice a year times how many years? Three. So it'd be two times three, which is six. All right, next up, the I percent. So the I percent is again going to be the num or sorry the uh, percentage but not as a decimal so in this case we have six percent so we get to put that just as six then divided by how many times it's compounded so again every six months or semi-annually means two so we divide that by two which is going to give us three. All right, next up, present value is always zero for these problems. The payment, we're depositing $100 every time, so that's 100. But remember, it always needs to be negative, so I'm going to go ahead and put that as negative 100 now so that we don't forget to put that into our calculator later. And then lastly, future value, that's what we're solving for. That's what we don't know. All right, now if you have a TI-83 or a TI-84, then you can actually go into the TVM solver by going to apps. The first one you should see is finance, click enter. And then the first one you should see is TVM solver. Click enter again and you'll see all of this stuff. For those of you who do not have a calculator at home, go ahead and follow the link that should be on this PDF to the website where there's gonna be one that's very similar to the one in the calculator and that's one we're gonna use for these videos. Okay, so now that we're at the TVM solver, we just need to put in our values. So for n, we had six. So we're just gonna type in six. For the I percent, we had that that was three. Our present value was zero, so we can keep it as zero. The payment was negative 100. And then the future value is what we don't know. All right. By the way, those bottom two, you can always just keep as one. We don't have to mess with those for our purposes here. So future value, we're just gonna go to the right of it and click solve for future value. As soon as you do that, it actually just gives you your answer. So back in our notes, the future value was $646.84. And by the way, always make sure that you are rounding to the nearest cent if you need to. All right, let's go on to example two and try another one. So for example two, 
What is the value of Andy's annuity at the end of 20 years if $2,000 is deposited each year into an account earning 8.5% compounded annually? All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to get all our variables set up. So big N, it's the number of compoundings times the number of years. So in this case, it's just compounded annually, so that means once per year for 20 years is just going to be 20. Next up, the I percent. So we have 8.5%, which we're just going to put as 8.5. Remember, we don't have to move the decimal point. We just leave it like that over the number of compoundings. Again, just one, so it's just 8.5. Present value is zero. The payment is $2,000 deposit each year, so we're going to put that as negative 2,000. And our future value, oops, sorry, our future value is what we don't know. So let's go put that into the calculator. So if we go ahead and put those new values into the calculator, we get n was 20 the i percent that was 8.5 oh 8.5 pv was 0 so we don't have to change that payment was negative 2000 and then again future value is what we're wanting to solve for so we just click solve for future value and it'll put our new value in there now just a heads up it says 96754.0 it might actually have some stuff at the end so make sure you click on it scroll all the way to the right see if it has any numbers at the very end because it can't all fit in the box. So back in our notes, we can just go ahead and put our answer for future value. So the future value of it is $96,754.03. All right, so for the next part, how much of the final balance did Andy contribute? All right, well, he contributed $2,000. How many times? Well, once a year for 20 years, so 20 times. If we multiply those together, we get $40,000. That's how much Andy contributed. All right, how much interest did the account earn in those 20 years? So for the interest, we just take the final amount in the account, so $96,754.03, and subtract the amount of money that Andy actually contributed. So 40,000, and that's gonna give us 54,000, $754.03. Alright, and in the next video we'll talk about some sinking funds as well as do some more examples of this. So click the link right about now to go ahead and move to that video or click the link inside of the PDFs and I will see you all then.